Hello. Okay. Hello, everyone. I we will introduce one student, one chip next. And at one student, one chip, or OSOC, our mission is to educate the next generation of processor designers and the computer architects. As the same as the name suggests, our core vision is that each student design, builds, and take home their own processor chip. OSOC was first launched in 2019, and since then, it has grown into a huge community with thousands of um, participants each year from across the globe. And now, we like to showcase the board featuring processor chips designed by OSOC students. And like this board, this board is uh, created by our first generation graduates. And this one is um, created by our second generation. And this is by the third generation. And the last one, this one is created by our fourth generation students. So we will now focus on our third generation board in more detail. For the third generation OSOC project, multiple processor cores, each featuring a different design from OSOC students were integrated into a single SOC, a six-bit DIP switch allows users to switch between them. This board comes with a NOR flash chip pre-installed. This flash has already been programmed with RT-Thread, and before shipping, our team has tested each processor call in on the SOC using this program. And we will show the video and the board. Okay, now, uh, students, when they get their boards, uh, students can simply need to follow this documentation to run the artist thread system or their own board. And this board has features uh, a four bit DIP switch to configure the clock frequency, which can range from 25 megahertz to 350 megahertz. And now we will show the video demonstration of powering up and run the third generation OS OC board. And now Thank you. Uh, well, my name is Hao Wang uh, from uh, Institute of Computing Technology, uh, Chinese Academy of Science. Uh, so I'm here to demonstrate. Uh, so this is actually a second year undergraduate student. He finished the whole process of one student, one chip material and passed all of the tests and uh, passed of the live exam. Uh, so we uh, tape out for him and give him the and we, we covered the, the, the cost of tape pods and sent, sent him back the, the de development board. So here is how he tested it. So we have a preloaded artist thread on the board flash so he can make sure that the basic settings are all set. And this is a simulator and a uh, RIS-5 system library he wrote himself. So the goal of one student one chip is not just uh, writing RTL code and the processor core, it's also the whole software stack upon it. So fin he finished the system library and he could run the benchmarks and he implement the CPU interrupt for system function, the, the drivers, and everything he, the students have to finish themselves. And now he's uh, loading the a game Mario. And now he faced some problems, and now he's debugging.
<laughs> so this is a second year undergraduate student. So he's able to finish the whole process from the risk five core, the SOC integration, the system, the system libraries, the drivers, and even the software. He get the whole idea of computer architecture. Yeah, he's implementing implementing more uh, core functions of the system. So NanoS is actually a another education uh, operating system he has to implement himself. So he's running operating system operating system. Uh, on the development board, and it's all done by himself. Everything is working perfectly. I have the so he's really on his own CPU, running his own operating system and running his own compiler and running his own risk five program. So yeah, that's the whole idea of one student one chip project and we just teach everybody and we welcome everybody, not just undergraduate students and everyone who want to get involved in the in this area, not just hardware and also the software. And we have uh, both upstairs, so if you have really interesting in us, welcome to talk with us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Simon, uh, Simon. This looks really, uh, you know, highly educational for students. But what do you see as the advantage of uh, students producing a chip rather than using an FPGA? Uh, sorry? Um, Why a chip, you know? not an FPGA? <laughs> yes. Um, I think because um, it's easy for you to design um, to design on FPGA, but uh, for students, they have um, even no opportunities to design their own chip. So we think it's very, very meaningful. And um, after they got their own chip, they can build many uh, programs or other like um, OS or, compi or compilers on their own chip. And it's very meaningful and interesting for them. It's a really a unique experience. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much indeed.